No, when I was a white girl, I was really young, so I didn't even know what I was doing on the mat. I was playing around. Uh, but then, like, in two months, I got promoted to the yellow belt, and then it was like more uh, kid stuff, right? And then my blue belt, my blue belt was really intense. Was when I, f was when I found out I wanted to be a fighter, you know? So, all the time, like, training, training, three times a day, training, like, I, I, I really enjoyed it and wanted to have fun, so I was training all the time, and it, it was a great time, and I was really intense, it was really intense, that's, that's pretty much the word that comes on my mind, I was like fighting all the time, doing tournaments every single weekend, and I was doing pretty good, it was it was my highlight, like, in the lower belt, I was like 37 fights straight without losing, it was, it was pretty cool, and then my purple belt, was a little bit like I start sharing my uh, my attention with school. I st I used to study law back in Brazil, so it's it's kind of hard to keep up uh, training, uh, work, and uh, the school. So it was kind of like I, I wasn't I wasn't able to to focus on anything like really really focus on. So but then when I got promoted to brown belt, I was like yeah. I can't, I can't keep on that, uh, on that way because I won't be able to, to, to win if I'm not training like really, really hard. If I don't focus on anything, I'm never gonna be good, like really good in anything. I'll be like uh, a little bit, I'll be like kind of medium in everything, and I'll never be very good like I, I, I want it to be. Either like in school or working or in jiu-jitsu, never be really good in anything if I'm like sharing my attention with. Like all that, so that was when I decided to uh, to stop to stop my, my to stop school and focus on jiu-jitsu. And I got promoted to black belt. Two months later, I came to US to live for jiu-jitsu, teach, training, everything. Just focus like a hundred percent. Waking up with jiu-jitsu, stay with jiu-jitsu all day, breathing jiu-jitsu, and going to bed with jiu-jitsu. I think it was, yeah, actually no doubt, was leaving family, friends, people that I love, they're back in Brazil, and uh, coming here and starting pretty much a new life, you know, and also leaving law school, which is something that I really, really like. I, 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 I pray, that's, that's actually what I do, you know, I pray, I pray God so I can be safe, you know, uh, I usually don't ask for my, the win, you know, I ask for God's will, I just want God's will to be done and uh, I'm gonna do everything I can to win that match, you know, but if not God's will, I don't wanna win, you know, that's pretty much how I think, you know, if not God's will, I don't wanna win because I know I'm gonna win something else way better uh, in the future, you know, that's that's mostly uh, what I ask, I ask for his will to be done and I ask to be safe, to uh, get in the mat and to leave the mat exactly the same way that I got in, you know, with no injury, no, uh, no hard feelings uh, after my my, opon uh, my opponent that anything bad happens and that's pretty much what I what I ask for and what I, that's my talk pretty much. Uh, I'm very concentrated on my match. You know, I try to think like what I'm doing next, you know, and try to think ahead of my opponent, try to uh, build, sometimes you, uh, you, come, uh, you come in with one strategy and you're not able to, uh, to pursue that, so you gotta uh, build something else, like you're gonna build up a new strategy during the match, so I'm very focused on the match, I try not to think about anything else besides what's going on there, you know. Sometimes, of course, comes something else on your mind, like, uh, what you went through, you know, all the training that you went through when you were maybe when you're losing, I try to. I sometimes I try to remember that, you know. Sometimes I'm losing. I'm like, I went through so so many, so much things to be here, you know. So I want to do my best, you know. I want to do my best, and I focus on everything to be able to do my best, you know. 
Yeah, one that I that it was pretty funny. I don't know if it was the the most fun, uh, funny one, but definitely was funny. Was uh, on the semifinals of the World No Gi in 2010 that I was facing a very good friend of mine actually, uh, Rafael Barata Freitas, a very very cool guy. And uh, I was fighting him and I was playing guard and he was trying so hard to pass my guard. And he's uh, he's like uh, he's very cool uh, and he was like laughing. He started laughing. I was like. And he was like, damn, what a guard. I can't, I'm trying, oh, shoot, what a guard, what a boring guard. And, and, I, and I started laughing in the middle of the mat, you know. He's a very funny guy, very friendly. <laughs> I like that guy. Yeah, I don't know if I if I get somebody and start studying, you know. I study a lot of my opponents, that's, that's for sure. I I watch their match when I when I can you know and I, when I'm fighting I I try to watch the best guys too you know uh, like the, on the uh, on the finals on the semifinals of the big tournaments I try to watch the guys that I that I like to see fighting my my teammates you know Kayo Kishino all these guys they, I, I really enjoy see them fighting and when we're, when we're training we study each other Leandro Lo, all these guys all these guys that are they're uh, training me we try to we share moves you know and I don't I don't get somebody and start uh, studying you know their game unless they are like my opponents and I wanna uh, I wanna see what they do you know but mostly like when it, when I, I'm watching the tournament and I see some move that, that is new for me also on the day I definitely would catch you know I definitely would try to catch and try to study the gym or either when, when I'm refereeing though sometimes I'm refereeing and I see something cool I bring uh, I bring to my gym and uh, I share my students I share my teammates and we try to uh, to add to our game you know and uh, and definitely like I said on the uh, high level tournaments I watch all these guys that, that uh, has been winning you know it's, it's definitely very worth it. Yeah, I think uh, in terms of like, like actually organization, I think uh, like in terms of organized, I think IBJJF it's like far, far away from all of the others. You know, like the the tournaments that IBJJF throw, their throws they are like really organized and the level always really high. Uh, their tournaments sometimes they are uh, more like. Uh, they are more easy going with some stuff, you know, which makes makes it easier for the beginners to do since they are they had they have, they have no experience, you know. So oh, I, I registered myself in the wrong uh, in the wrong weight class, or uh, oh, I lost my match right away. I you know, all something like that. They try to to they are very easy going, so they try to put you in the heavy bracket, or yes. sometimes they try to, uh, if you lose, they, they give you a second match, a consolation match, things like that, you know, that IBJF is really, really strict. So uh, they are more professional, like this uh, this, proved, uh, this action proves they're, that they are more professional, but uh, at the same time, sometimes it's hard for the beginners. But uh, I think IBJF is really, like, very, very far away from all the other organizations. To keep training, to keep training. There's no secret. There's no secret about it. Just keep training. Uh, don't quit. There will be frustrating moments that happens with everyone. You know, like, there'll be uh, choices that you gotta, that you gotta make, and uh, choice, choice. They're nothing. They're nothing more than uh, had, uh, having to uh, let something go. You know, but. That's that's what it takes, you know. For everything that everything you wanna pursue, you gotta sacrifice something, you know. Everything you wanna get, you gotta sacrifice something else. And uh, this is gonna happen, and you gotta sacrifice. Sometimes it's that food that you like. Sometimes it's that place that you like to go. Sometimes it's that person. Sometimes it's the family, like it happened to me, you know. I I had to leave like everyone uh, back in Brazil to come here and. Uh, you're starting pretty much a new life with some teammates, my friends, they're my very good friends. Uh, but I did everything uh, because of jiu-jitsu, you know, because I love jiu-jitsu and I wanted to be, uh, I wanted to get uh, where I am today and even more, like way more of what I, uh, of what I already um, conquered, you know. So that's, that's, that's the way it is, just 
go, keep keep going, and uh, one thing that's really, really important that you won't go anywhere without it, it's faith. You know, so keep your faith up in God, and uh, you're gonna get a, uh, sooner or later, you know. Yeah, when I'm not competing, there is no diet. You know, <laughs> I try not to diet when I'm not competing because uh, I, sometimes I, I diet a lot when, I, uh, when when it's close to a tournament. Even when I do like featherweight, which usually the way that I walk around, I try to uh, to eat really clean. So uh, even if I don't want to lose weight, if I don't need to lose weight, I'm eating very clean. So it's when I'm not competing, I try to eat uh, whatever I, I uh, miss when I'm dieting. Yeah. But uh, yeah, sometimes I, I need to lose a lot of weight when I want to cut to light feather and uh, it's it's a hard task but like you gotta sacrifice <laughs> and uh, I like it's it's not it's not the hardest hardest thing in the world for me to to diet because I really really like the healthy uh, healthy food you know in the, the healthy lifestyle you know I like it uh, that thank God that's something that came uh, with me like I like vegetables I like salad I like like playing chicken all this kind of stuff I like a lot and I'm not very like I don't uh, I'm not I'm, I don't crave like junky food or anything so that's really good that's really good for me um, yeah I think I can I can tell you some you know the ones that gave me like my main titles you know the one that gave me my uh, world money title or some absolute some absolute uh, championships my finals of my second uh, my second open class of Las Vegas Open uh, championship against Zach Maxwell that was a very intense fight and just to think about it my heart started beating <laughs> faster but uh, I think if I if I want to pick one, that would be my first match as a black belt. You know, my first match as a black belt was something like that. I can't, I can't describe. I truly can't describe. I can't find a word to describe it because it was something really, really intense. Like I, I cried after after the match. You know, I had, uh, I had just came back from uh, from the world championship as a brown belt, where I took third. And, I, and it was on the uh, South American Championship, but, but I faced a guy that I've been, uh, I've seen him around, like doing tournaments and winning tournaments uh, in a while, you know. And I was like, I was kind of like, I don't know. I've seen him fight, fighting like friends of mine, like three, four years before uh, in the black belt division already, like in good tournaments. Uh, so I was like, uh, and then it was the final, and I tapped him out, and it was like. Something unbelievable, something that I get just to think about it, you know, like I can't, I don't, I don't have words. <laughs> um, for, for, to name like, uh, for the weight of the, of the title, that might be the world, the world championship, the world nogi championship. Uh, but some, some titles also like, uh, Really makes me like uh, happy to have uh, to have achieved like uh, some of the nationals tournaments that I have. They were like uh, something that that I I would I was like, I was like uh, trying to a lot, you know. Like uh, sometimes I'm trying to uh, like to get a revenge with some guy, you know, that I, that had beat me before, and I achieved that. So that title comes with a different taste, you know. So. I don't know, but for the weight, let's say the World Championship and the Pan Ams, Nogi, both Nogi, those are those were uh, were make maybe my ultimate achieve achievement. Mm -hmm. So I have now coming up the Pro League, and I'm very very excited about it. Uh, I'm glad I uh, I'm ranked and uh, I'm qualified to do that. So it's a, it's an it's an honor for me to be there and just to be between the eight in the world it's already like a pleasure you know I'm not talk, I'm not even thinking about the the prize which is the first time that IBGF pays for 
uh, tournament, but I'm not even uh, thinking about it. I'm just be, I'm just honored that I'm there between like some beasts, you know. So it's I, I'm very honored about it. And uh, in the future, uh, next year definitely I'll come back stronger and try uh, doing as many tournaments that I've, I've been always doing, doing almost all the tournaments and fighting all the time. That's what I love to do, and I think that was important to do. <laughs> so. I'll definitely, I'll definitely be coming up and doing all the tournaments. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah, I want to thank uh, my teammates. Uh, we are building up a strong team, a really strong team. You guys are gonna uh, see some uh, news for next year. We're gonna, we're gonna come up strong. We're gonna come up with. Uh, uh, a big and strong team competitions, and you're gonna, you guys are gonna, you're gonna uh, see some news. It'll be great. It'll be great. <laughs> and uh, I also wanna thank all my sponsors, uh, MK Monos, for all the support, uh, Control Industries also, and uh, Fighter Tech. They all, uh, they all are, has been like, have been like helping me a lot with my training because. Without it, I wouldn't be able to put all this effort in training and uh, leap for it. You know, so thank you guys a lot, and uh, thank you guys all for the support, my fans, you guys, uh, everything, everything that you guys uh, post, tell me, message me, and uh, see some of you guys posts, even like around the internet, like those things are what makes me uh, want to do more. You know. And uh, so I appreciate all that. Thank you, thank you.